You alright lads, this is the Geordie Jedi doing my next game review. Battlefield 4. One of, if not the best, war games that, you'll fa that has ever been made. It's completely inclusive, interactive, graphics are brilliant, gameplay is incredibly realistic. The only game that I can think of that's even slightly more realistic than this is a game called Arma 3 for the PC. And Arma 3 isn't as fun, in my opinion, it's, it's more, it is, Arma 3 is incredibly realistic. It's as in troop movements, all that kind of thing. Battlefield 4 is super realistic, but keeps the this, this slightly fun part, you know, it, it moves fast. Gameplay is brilliant. I mean, I, I mean, in Battlefield, in Battlefield, in Call of Duty, all the franchises, you'll have, you won't have bullet drop, especially with snipers. In this, it takes bullet drop into account, even takes the wind into account. If it's a win if it's a windy map, it does everything perfectly. Up close and personal. Again, every weapon is realistic. You know, assault rifles will have bullet drop if you use them at the correct range. Most of the time you won't notice because you won't be that far away enough. But if you are far away enough again, it will bullet drop. Pistols will do the same. They're not. If you're on hardcore, they're not overpowered or underpowered for that matter. They seem just about right. Only downside to the gameplay would be the knife. It's less useful than say in Call of Duty. I mean, Call of Duty, obviously, you know, you, you'll jump 10 feet to knife someone in the back. In this game, a knife will only slash them and won't cause much damage unless you sneak up behind them which, and do like the. Um, Oh, the kill cam almost, which is really good, nicking the dog tags, that's really fun. But if you're just catching them in a normal fight, he'll slash them and won't cause much damage, which is unrealistic, but it depends how you slash them, really, if it's unrealistic or not. Graphics, of course, using the new Frostbite 3 engine, which is out of this world. I mean, every game should be made, probably should be made with Frostbite 3. I mean, the new Star Wars Battlefront, Battlefront is being made with Frostbite 3. The new Dragon Age Inquisition is being made with, Battle, with Frostbite 3. And also, the eventual, the next Mass Effect game is being made with Frostbite 3. It is just using Frostbite 3 completely, and it's a good thing. I mean, some people might complain, saying, oh, well, why not use a different um, physics engine, such as Havoc, for example, but... If Frostbite 3 is the best engine out there, then why would you why would you change it just because it's the same? If it's better, it's better. If it's the best, it's the best. It doesn't matter if people if it's overused. I mean, you know, it's not original. Perhaps people can complain about it all they want. It's the best out there, so use it. Online servers, just like Battlefront Battlefield 3. Servers are completely fine, you don't usually have much bother with them. You know, the, the, there's always a server free if you need it. There's, it's never full, it's never, it's never, it doesn't lag either, which is good. You know, millions, if millions of people play Battle, Battlefield 4, so to be able to cope with that, AA have done a brilliant job on that front. Even though, you know, EA servers, especially with FIFA Ultimate Team in particular, you know, are terrible. It's a shame they couldn't do the same for Battlefield 4, but perhaps that's why. Single player campaign is better than Battlefield 3, but st still not brilliant. I mean, I played it because, I knew, you know, you get used to some of the techn new technology if they brought it in, some of the new buttons if they brought new buttons in. That kind of thing, you know, it's perfect for learning how to play the game, if, especially if you're a newcomer. Or if, you you know, things have changed a bit. But one playthrough is enough, you know, it's not something you go back and play again. You play Battlefield 4 online, for online anyways. Right, now, that's, prob that's about it really, there's not much more or less you could say. 
I mean, of course, you know, you can talk about how big the maps are now comparatively. I mean, you know, in Battlefield 3, buildings wouldn't comp wouldn't fall down. I mean, you could damage them, you could cause serious damage to them. Some of them would essentially not be a building anymore. But on Battlefield 4, if you can hit skyscrapers well enough, that they'll come down. Difficult to do sometimes, it takes a lot of damage to do it, but if you can do it well enough, you know, whole buildings will collapse and just be gone, it'll just be, it will be complete rubble. Brilliant. Well, that's the end of my review. Right, man, what about Call of Duty, man? Call of Duty's proper kushti. Aye, I'm, I'm not saying Call of Duty's a, a bad game, it's quite good, but Battlefield 4 is better. Yeah, man, you don't fucking know what you're talking about, man. Call of Duty came before Battlefield, man. Battlefield 1942 came out a year before Call of Duty 1. Yeah, man, you're, pro you're talking proper shit. Call of Duty Modern Warfare came out well before Battlefield 3. Yeah, Modern Warfare wasn't the first Call of Duty, you know. And Battlefield 3 wasn't the first Battlefield. I'd have thought Battlefield 3 would have given it away. Yeah, man, you're talking shit next to the is Call of Duty Black Ops 2 set in the future. fuck are you looking at man? Uh, sorry, I just find your lack of intelligence impressive. Yeah man, fuck this shit, I'm off to go and listen to some fucking dubstep. Well, indeed. It's been the Geordie Jedi, subscribe if you want, like if you want, may the force be with you.